In this lesson, we will learn about edge flow. Edge flow is fairly self-explanatory. It's how the edges flow or move along our model. Think of a line of edges not as separate, but as the path of something moving along our model. Bad edge flow looks chaotic and random, and if you try to follow its path, you wouldn't really know where you're going. Good edge flow is orderly and has a definite path to follow. The edge flow not only helps us to shape our model, but also to define how well our model will deform. In this example, we can see that the flow of our edges are crooked. When we try to bend our model, the results that we get are undesirable. Now let's take a look at a model with good edge flow. Notice that almost all the faces have four edges, and there's a sense of organization to the topology. So as we bend our model, we can see that the deformations work much better. The more you know about the model's movements, the more you will know how your topology should be laid out. Even though the responsibility of the edge flow lies with the modeler, it's more about having a clean mesh for riggers and animators. When modeling a character, an animated prop, or anything that will deform, keeping a proper edge flow will result in better deformations and a better model.